Bravo B1 to the north. Are you good to go? Computer connected. Airpo looks good. Go, go, go. go, no, go. go, no, go. For, for engine start. We're good for engine start. So Terra, which is uh, the Greek root for wing or wing-like, like pterodactyls, is uh, an acronym for the Prototype Technology Evaluator Research Aircraft, and it does exactly what its name describes. The mission of the Center of Innovation for Aerospace is to work with our aerospace companies throughout the state to make them more successful so that they create new products, new business models, new services, and in the end create jobs. We started working with AI over two years ago. They were looking at building a new kind of unmanned aerial vehicle, or what we call them UAVs, to test new technologies that were maybe sometimes too risky to test on manned aircraft. The idea is take it, put it onto Terra, and learn as much as possible about that technology, grow it, refine it, and then put it onto the manned aircraft. Early in the design process of Terra, we were introduced to the Georgia Aerospace Center of Innovation and they introduced us to Middle Georgia College where they're able to build carbon composite um, components for aircraft. We've been able to receive grants to work with Middle Georgia College in that the state matches dollar for dollar what we put into this and it's given us big shop capabilities in a small R&D firm. The Center of Innovation worked with Area I and Middle Georgia College and the FAA to do the initial flight testing of the vehicle. Go, no, go for takeoff, Obi-Wan. Go. Currently, private entities cannot fly unmanned aerial vehicles in the United States. Middle Georgia College sponsored this FAA approval, they sponsored our flight tests, and now we have a two-year window where we can fly the Terra at MGC's facilities virtually any time we want and with MGC's support. I mean, it's, it's incredibly special. They have created this very sophisticated, very capable UAV that's really beyond what many other companies have done in the United States. We just finished two Terra-related projects with NASA, and it's looking very good that we'll get two more with them, possibly three. It's led to a project with the Air Force. There are three areas that are going to be key over the next 10 years in UAVs. The use by the military, public safety. Also, we see agriculture as a big area that will use UAVs. For a farmer to be able to tell which, which uh, parts of his, of his uh, crop might be underwatered or maybe have some type of uh, uh, disease, that's something that you can see very, very clearly from the air. We think Georgia is well positioned for the future UAV market. It's estimated it's going to be $10 billion a year in production and the maintenance of these vehicles annually. And we want to make sure that Georgia is both a national and international leader in UAVs. We love everything that flies. We design airplanes. That's what we do, and we do it well. To a large extent, Area I owes its existence to the Georgia Center of Innovation and to the state of Georgia. I really am immensely grateful for what they've given.